Today we're going to talk about AOF First or Army of Fortune Metaverse, which is a mobile first gaming metaverse built around their first game, Army of Tactics. As usual, nothing in this video is financial advice, and if you haven't already done so, would you kindly hit that subscribe button? Now the team behind these games call themselves X Supercell Veterans, as they've previously worked on games like Clash of Clans, but more about that later. Their first game, Army of Tactics, is currently available on your mobile device, both iOS and Android, and it's an auto battle where you unlock new champions by defeating other players in order to build up your deck and upgrade your characters. Now, units can be upgraded by spending gold, which you earn by winning matches. And each player is also given an island where they can forge different materials and complete daily quests and challenges in order to unlock more rewards. Army of Tactics is the first of many games, all of which live inside the metaverse called Army of Fortune. Now, as far as timelines and deliverables, they're currently in the second stage of their roadmap map Q4 2023. However, the roadmap does seem to have changed. As here they mention, they're going to have a private token sale in Q4, which is starting today and goes on until Friday, November 24th. And according to the Discord, they're currently raising 1700 ETH or $3.5 million. And I don't know why here it says that there is no limit to how much an individual can contribute. I assume they just think that nobody is gonna put in $3.5 million on their own. However, where it differs is that the roadmap, both on their website and in their Gitbook, says that the TGE is only happening in Q1 of 2024, whereas in the Discord, it says it's happening as early as December. So I'm not exactly sure why they are speeding up the timeline. As for their tokens, they have two different ones. The first one is ticker symbol AFC, which is the in-game currency, which you can earn by playing the game, whether that's defeating other players, upgrading your island, or completing daily quests and challenges. And with that token, you can then upgrade your army and your characters, as well as continuing to build your island. Now their second token, ticker symbol AFG, and this is the one people are going to be investing in, acts as their governance token. However, you can also win this one by playing the game as well as by referring other players. Now if we continue down the roadmap, you can see that the global launch for Army of Tactics is happening in Q1 of next year, as well as the closed beta for Army of Fortune, their metaverse project. And then the open beta is happening in Q2 and the full game launch is happening in Q4, assuming no other changes are coming to the roadmap. Now, in terms of marketing, they're producing some really high quality trailers. This reminds me a lot of a Clash of Clans trailer. And obviously with their backgrounds, having worked at Supercell on games like Clash of Clans, this is to be expected. However, one thing that they're doing different from a lot of NFT projects that we're seeing is they've launched these really successful TikTok pages for some of their in-game characters, which have grown to quite a big audience. One of their characters is at 2.1 million followers and another one is at 1.7 million. And these pages are actually really funny and relatable, especially the frog. So kudos to their social media team for having put this together. We have seen some NFT projects have successful Instagram pages like Kaiju Kings, Azuki Beans, Chimpers, and Pudgy Penguins, garnering hundreds of thousands of followers, which is amazing or brand awareness outside of our Web3 bubble. But there's obviously no way for us to quantify how having these followers on Instagram or on TikTok is going to affect their ability to get a ton of players to actually play their games. But if they do decide to turn this on as some sort of marketing funnel, they've built a giant reach to an audience that I assume if you watch these kind of TikToks, there's a good chance that you also play mobile games. Now, as for the NFTs, they're called the, the Fortune Founders Keys. We don't know the utility just yet. I am really hoping that it has something to do with their token and we qualify for an airdrop because this has been the meta for a lot of gaming NFT projects, which have performed really well in the last three to four weeks. I know this NFT doesn't have anything to do with one specific game and the benefits have to do with the overall ecosystem. And while we don't know what the supply is going to be, we do know that it is going to be a free mint, which is great because there's no risk other than 
than a couple of dollars used to mint the NFT in gas fees. As for the team, the pitch deck does mention they have over 40 employees with experience working at leading mobile gaming companies such as Zynga, Supercell, and Konami. The website really doesn't have any info on the team. However, they do link to a Git book for the gaming studio behind this company where they have bios to a bunch of their employees as well as links to their LinkedIn pages where you could see some of them have indeed worked at Supercell, at least according to their LinkedIn. Now, as for the company Studio Z23, I really can't find too much information about it. The website says coming soon, so the website isn't impressive. It doesn't show any games that they've done in the past. There is a career page where you can see more about the employees as well as some company images, but nothing else on the company itself. However, where this team does shine is with their game, because unlike most NFT projects, they already have a game that is out on the market available on iOS and Android. And I've personally downloaded their game. I've played it multiple times. It plays very well, it's addictive, and it plays just like a regular Web2 game. I assume they haven't turned on any of the Web3 elements. I haven't seen any personally while doing some playthroughs, but I could definitely see people downloading this game and playing it on a recurring basis. So I'm excited for this mint. We did manage to get some whitelist spots, both guaranteed and first come first serve in my community, Gorilla Labs, which I'm excited about because I feel they have a really solid game. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching Crypto Gorilla. Peace.